Howdy folks, live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's gone around, is that a big top I see there, high above the ground, ballyhoo, ah, ballyhoo. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. There's a million ways to have fun in Wisconsin and no reason not to. Visit TravelWisconsin.com and plan your trip today. And now, here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, singer-songwriter, and intermittent pig farmer, Michael Perry. Howdy, folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Big Top Chautauqua. Tonight's episode features the encore airing of the Big Top Chautauqua house show, Belfast to Bluegrass. And somewhere around the middle of things, I'll tell you a story about old songs and John F. Kennedy. Folks, the music you're about to enjoy was recorded in a special space in a special place. The Big Top Chautauqua stage stands square and true way up toward the tippy top of America's dairy land, just two sips of coffee shy of Bayfield, Wisconsin. If you think, as I did for all those years I was a teenager lugging feed bags and a chip on my shoulder, that Wisconsin is nothing but cheese and cows and cheese, well, I hope you'll wander up Bayfield Way and see for yourself some summer the deep green Apostle Islands deep blue Lake Superior, or buy some roadside cider come autumn, or enjoy hot coffee on a snowbound Great Lakes morning. Whatever the season, it's beautiful in Bayfield, you gotta come on out. And once the sun goes down all summer long and into autumn, there's no experience like a live show at the one and only Big Top Chautauqua. Check the schedule and get your tickets at www.bigtop.org. And now, via beaming and streaming and theater of the mind, let's turn the show over to the Big Top Chautauqua artists Severin Bainan, Stevie Mateer, and Bruce Burnside in an encore presentation of Belfast to Bluegrass, a Big Top hit that will take you on a musical adventure of jigs and ballads sung in a manner that reflects their journey and evolution as their sounds absorbed, blended, merged, and transformed into the sounds we recognize today, performing everything from traditional Celtic to contemporary bluegrass, Please welcome our own Blue Canvas Orchestra and special guest performing Belfast to Blue Girl. to see. It's the 1720s and some of us are getting ready to head out to the colonies. You now we've been here for many a year but we can't put up with this English church and all the tithing and the wreck renting. 
We're dissenters, Presbyterians. <laughs> and we won't bow to the English church. You'd see scenes like this all over the north of the country. There's so many people getting ready to go away. What we're doing, we're having what they call a living wake. Now it's living because nobody's dead yet. And it's a wake because we know that we'll never see these people again. So come on in and we'll give these people some great memories and good music to keep them warm on their long journey. You know this one, eh? I'm lonesome since I left the hill and over the moorland sagey. Such heavy thoughts my heart do fill since parting from me, Sally. Seek no more the fine and gay, for each one does remind me of the many years I passed away with the girl I left behind me. Get that night, the cars were wide above me, and gently lent their silvery light when first she vowed to love me. But now I'm bound for Brighton, camp, kind heaven, then pray guide me, and send me safely back again to the girl I left behind me. Her golden hair and ringlets fair, her eyes like diamonds shining, her slender waist, her heavenly face that leaves my heart still shining. God above, please hear my prayer for my beauteous fair to find me and send me swiftly back again to the girl I left behind. <laughs> a couple of reels now, eh? Thank you. Ah. Now come is my departing time 
And here I may no longer stay. There is no kind comrade of mine that would desire I were away. But if that time will me permit and from your company doth call and me enforces for to flit Good night and God be with you all. For here I grant some time I spent in loving kind good company. For all offenses I repent and wisheth now forgiven to be. What I have done for want of wit to memory I will not recall. I hope you are my friends as yet. Good night and God be with you all. I wish that I might longer stay. To enjoy your society, the Lord to bless you night and day, and still be in your company, to vice nor to iniquity. God grant none of you ever fall. God's blessing keep you all and me. Good night and God be with you all. Most loving friend, God be thy guide. And never leave thy company. And all things needful thee provide, and give thee all prosperity. We rather have thy company if thou wouldst have stayed. Sure. You know, we're among friends. You can join in if you want.
It was one fine morning I bid New Orleans adieu And I took the road to Jackson Town My fortune to renew I cursed all foreign money No credit could I gain And I felt my heart a longing for the shores of Pontchartrain. Well, I stowed aboard a railroad car beneath the morning sun. And I rode the rails till evening time when I finally laid me down. No stranger would befriend me till a dark girl towards me came. And I fell in love with a Creole girl on the shores of Pontchartrain. I said, my bonnie Creole lass, my money, it is no good. And if it weren't for the alligators, sure I'd sleep here in the woods you're welcome here kind stranger though our house is very plain but we never turned a stranger out on the shores of Pontchartrain She took me into her mother's house and treated me right well. And the hair upon her shoulders in jet black ringlets fell. To try to paint her beauty would surely be in vain. So handsome was my Creole girl on the shores of Pontchartrain. I asked her if she'd marry me She said it ne'er could be For she had a lover Who was far away at sea She said that she would wait for him And true, she would remain Till he returned for his Creole girl on the shores of Pontchartrain. So fare thee well, my Creole lass, I'll ne'er see you no more. But I'll never forget your kindness in that cottage by the shore and at its social gathering of flowing bowl I'll drain and I'll raise a glass to my Creole lass on the shores of Pontchartrain I'll raise a glass to my bonny lass on the shores of Pontchartrain. Now, the first couple of tunes in this next set are of Irish descent.
The new railroads were a great method of transporting goods and people. But they also transported music, both literally and figuratively, and the people that kept the trains rolling. Now, this opened up the music to more influences, and it's most likely here that the Scots-Irish and the newly freed African-Americans really got together. The rhythms and the melodies moved on at this time and became much more fluid, and syncopation began to take hold. And the other thing about railway songs is they need a whole lot of people, right? So we're going to try and teach you this wee chorus, and it's pretty easy. The words you'll find out. So let's see if we can get you doing this, see if we can get a, a blue canvas choir organized. Eighteen hundred and forty-one. I put me corduroy breeches on. Put me corduroy breeches on. I work upon the railway. Eighteen hundred and forty-two. I left the old world for the new. That's just the luck that brought me through. I work upon the railway. Fiddle me, uri, uri, eh. Fiddle me, uri, uri, eh. Fiddle me, uri, uri, eh. I work upon the railway. Woo! It was Tom King, a Yankee was the good man. A Yankee Clark with Yankee and Pan, a chip hat on the railway. When Pat laid him down to sleep, the wary bugs are running free. And Devil a bet could poor Pat sleep while he worked on the railway. Fiddle me, Uri, Uri, eh. Fiddle me, Uri, Uri, eh. Fiddle me, Uri, Uri, eh. I worked upon the railway. Eighteen hundred and forty-three, it was then I met sweet Betty McGee, an elegant wife she's been to me while I worked on the railway. Eighteen hundred and forty-seven, Betty McGee, she went to heaven. She left one child, she left eleven to work upon the railway. Fiddle me, Uri, Uri, eh. Fiddle me, Uri, Uri, eh. Fiddle me, Uri, Uri, eh. To work upon the railway. You are listening to Tent Show Radio. Folks, we'll return to the Blue Canvas Orchestra's performance of Belfast to Bluegrass shortly. Meanwhile, I'm here to tell you I've been rolling north to the big top for a long time now. I've got more favorite memories than we got shows, but once per show I share one. This time? This time, perhaps because as I speak these words there is still snow all about, I am thinking of the glint of sun on water. On many a journey north it is the first inkling that we are leaving the Northwoods for the coast of a great lake. An inkling and a twinkling, just visible through the quaking aspen leaves roadside or a gap in the pines beyond a curve, or from the brow of the hill overlooking downtown Bayfield, where on some days the sun surfs the wavelets like waterbug diamonds, jewels on the move, telling a trillion stories in the sun. Recently, I walked the halls of my old university. I was on my way to a college radio station studio to be interviewed about the local music scene. This implies I am a red-hot insider, but in truth, I was being imported more as a dean of history or, let's cut to the chase, the very personification of a golden oldie. 
The physical layout of the campus has changed dramatically since I attended. Just now it occurs to me the same could be said regarding my own physical layout. Still, the familiar bones of the surroundings triggered the usual blend of nostalgia, recognition, and head-shaking as I marveled at the manifest passage of time. I also had to suppress the urge to accost random students and yell things like, Right here, there used to be a phone booth. Or, Who moved the library? Or, more simply, Mimeographs. The student who faced me across microphones appeared to have been freshly excused from junior high. I don't mean to be insulting or question his status as a scholar. I'm just saying there's nothing like peering at youth over your reading glasses to make you feel immediately geriatric. Early in the interview, I mentioned that this self-same university radio station had been a real ear-opener for me back in the day. I arrived in the big city a country boy, familiar with little more than Poppy Top 40. Thus, I still clearly recall the night I accidentally tuned down the dial and heard a tongue-tied communications major broadcasting a song by an obscure band out of Athens, Georgia, that went by the name R.E.M. It was also on these airwaves that I first heard a song called Pride in the Name of Love by some up-and-comers named U2. In both instances, my definition of good music wandered off the center line to tastes I still trace. Oh, I bet it was on this album, the interviewer said, jumping up to retrieve a CD case from the shelf when I mentioned the R.E.M. tune. It's been here forever. He was so eager to please. It was with heavy heart I informed him that the CD he held was released in 1991, seven albums after the one I had referenced, and four years after I had graduated from college. The expression on his face suggested he very badly wanted to ask me what it was like plowing with oxen. Music or otherwise, I'm always skeptical of the concept of a scene. Seems to me once you've identified it, the deterioration has already set in. That's not as grumpy as it sounds. The cracks create space for new shoots. Some rise in the form of youthful disc jockeys in an age when disc has as much relevance as wax cylinder. Perhaps it is a product of our contemporary political slaw, but I, for one, welcome the infiltrations of youth, what with their energy and hope and general lack of poisonous fear. On the walk back to my car, I passed through the oldest building on the grounds. When my father attended, that building was the university. One day on his way to class, Dad got caught up in a human traffic jam when a campaigning John F. Kennedy entered the hallway. Pressed against the wall, Dad found himself at the end of an impromptu receiving line. Kennedy worked his way down the line, shaking every hand offered, only to peel off just before he reached my father. Dad always chuckled in the telling of it. It occurred to me as I drove away that history is a handful of echoes. And now back to some echoes of our own. An encore performance by our own Blue Canvas Orchestra and guests, back to the second half of Belfast to Bluegrass.
Thank you. Thank you. Now this old time or mountain music is what would have been heard by Bill Monroe's family and what they would have passed on to him. Bill Monroe's most famous ensemble was called the Bluegrass Boys, named after Kentucky, the Bluegrass State. And this defined a whole new genre of music.
that's the way it's done.
from the top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. There's a million ways to have fun in Wisconsin and no reason not to. Visit TravelWisconsin.com and plan your trip today. And by the Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau of Bayfield, Wisconsin, Berry Capital of Wisconsin, Gateway to the Apostle Islands of Lake Superior, art galleries and studios, orchards, shopping and lodging, online at bayfield.org. And by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior, downtown Bayfield. Proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions, online at bayfieldinn.com. From the top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. Tent Show Radio is produced by Austin Hamilton, Michael Perry, Jamie Hansen, and yours truly, Philip Anich. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who understands he ain't nothing but an echo. We'd especially love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show. Details, including when house shows the likes of Belfast and Bluegrass will be on the docket, all was available at BigTop.org. You can visit me anytime at www.sneezingcow.com. Until next we share the air, remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose...